Hey friends, this is Quest and Current, and what I've got for you today are two of those really interesting lanyard type USB-C to USB-C cables. So they're supposed to be used in conjunction with your phone, and having your phone around the neck is quite popular nowadays. So this is a cable that emulates this lanyard while doubling as a charging cable for your phone or for your laptop or um, to transmit data from and to your phone, laptop, or whatever device. And I initially bought two of them because I thought that they are different types of cables and they're different types of um, designs. But if we unpack pack that one, then we can see that they both actually are the same kind of cable, just in two different lengths. And if we take a look at the packaging here, we can see that this one actually just says 1.2 and 0.3 meters. So I, I got both of them. The shorter one at least features this, this nice box and you can see that they did invest some uh, money into, into having them manufactured. So that's something, but what we're actually interested in is they, they do put some spec on, on the box itself. And if I can get it to focus on the box, yes, I can. We can see that it's a 60 watt cable and unfortunately I do not speak Chinese, so I can only see the 60 watts and it's a USB 2 cable with 480 meg megabits per second of data transmission speed. So it's pretty much a box standard cheap USB-C to USB-C cable with the minimum requirements that, that you need for charging and transmitting data. And I'm also going to unpack the second one. And this one is longer indeed. So this one is the short and this one is the long one. And with this one, uh, we can unscrew it because we can actually both uh, unscrew both of them, but this one is a bit easier because it's longer. So I can show you the USB-C connector. And if we take a closer look, we can see that it's actually quite well made. So this part itself is, is metal. I'm not sure if it's aluminum, but most certainly. Uh, let me take a look. I do have a magnet here somewhere. Yes. So yeah. Um, this part is, is, is non-magnetic and, ah, okay, so this part is magnetic, so this is some, some ferromagnetic material, but all the other ones are most certainly aluminium. And the screw-in mechanism is, is made quite well. It, it feels like it, sh it should last for a while and it could definitely be used to carry my phone around my neck w without having to worry about uh, it snapping off. The strain relief on the end of this connector is not really existent, so that's going to be interesting if I, I actually use it for a while, if the cable is going to snap in there. And they also included this little ring that, that I can unhook, and this whatever kind of plastic part that is, that I can put in the back side of my, my phone protective case, so the, the phone case as shown here, and have it tangle out on the bottom side here. And the cable itself is definitely something I'm, I'm going to use without even testing it, just because I think it's a cool and, and, and really novel accessory that I can carry around and show people that I'm actually quite big of a nerd and, and have some knowledge in USB-C. But without testing it beforehand, I won't be able to go out because I have to tell people what kind of cable it is. So let me get in, get in the tester and let me plug it in and then wait a second until it fully turned on and test the cable for its specifications. I'm really curious if there is an e-marker inside, so if it's just a regular 60 watt cable without e-marker or if they actually advertise them themselves as such and if there are some other, okay, no it isn't, and if there are some other uh, specs that we are not aware of, but no, there obviously are not. So <clears throat> what we can see is the cable is a 480 megabits or 0 0.48 gigabits per second data cable, so USB 2 speeds with a charging power of maximum of 10 watts, probably due to its length, which I'm kind of surprised because the cable itself, as you can see, is really thick, so it, I would say five or six millimeters. Um, there should be enough space to, to have a thick conductor. And if they have invested in, in this aluminum connector, they could have also invested in some good contact plating, uh, some, some real gold going on there. So that's something I'm, I'm kind of kind of disappointed in, but 
let's take a look. Yeah, it's a USB 2 cable, 5 volts, uh, nominally 20 volts, but without the e-marker we have to believe in that. With currents of up to 2 amps, um, it should go up to 3. Probably my phone is going to pull 3, or at least it's going to try to, but at the 5 volt rail uh, we are going to see a significant loss in, in voltage um, on the phone side, so it... it May may happen that it, it, it will stop at something between 2 and 3 amps. And what we can see is the, the required pinout for the USB, uh, USB 2.0 data transmission or USB 1.1, the D plus and D minus pins here, <coughs> as well as the, one of the CC pins, which is responsible for the power negotiation. So if your phone connects to your power supply, it knows that the power supply can supply power, but if your phone connects to another phone, then they actually have to, to talk on this CC line, which phone is going to charge in which direction, and if they're go going to charge at all or if they're not. And if they agree on, on charging or not, they're going to use the four ground pins and the four Webus pins to actually transmit any uh, power. And if we take a look at the details, then interestingly enough, they connected not only the Webus Ground CC1, D plus, D minus, but also the shield. So the cable itself is shielded or they at least connected the shield and ground pins inside the connectors. Uh, without cutting it open, we, we won't be able to find out. And since I'm actually planning on, on using this cable, I'm, I'm not going to. The Webus resistance is at 157 milliohms for this cable, so <clears throat> that's why it is limited at, at 2 amps due to the voltage loss across the cable with the, the nominal current and then there is no e mark inside so we actually have to believe what, what the cable itself can do. With this I now have actually two of those cables so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the, with the smaller one. Um, maybe my, my, my dog gets one or something like this but if you're interested in that just let me know and as, as always if you're interested in, in the channel please uh, subscribe or uh, even better subscribe as a YouTube premium member uh, with this we can buy more cables and more accessory accessories so thanks for your attention and yeah just put your comments down below thanks